I got hairy legs that turn that 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 that, that, that turn uh, um, blonde in the sun. Anytime now. So I learned about roaches. I learned about kids jumping on my lap. Wait for it. And I've loved kids jumping on my lap. Bingo. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to WKRZ The Platinum, the only radio station by trophy hunters for trophy hunters. I am your host, WEBTS Maxwell, and today we have a very special guest, the President of the United States, President Joseph Robinette Biden Jr. Junior B. Jr., as my mother likes to call him. Hi there, Mom, if you're listening. Mr. President, thank you so much for being with us. How you doing? Good. Good to see you. I want to just dive right into it. There is so much. Can I, before we start, hey, all the kids. You want to come up here and listen? Come on up here. Come up behind me. Because I'm not holding up between them and the pool, man. Did we get permission slips from all their parents so that they could? Oh, we didn't? Well, let's pass out earplugs. I think they'll need them. Sir, I heard from the station Coffee Boy that you were an avid trophy hunter yourself with a grand total of two Platinums. Was he right about that? He was right. One I got when I got named Vice President of the United States by Brock. <laughs> Anyway. And your second Platinum? Uh, um, I don't remember. I figured as much. Let's talk about The Last of Us. You had some damning things to say about the game, and in particular, Joel, the game's main character. That's not true. Sir, you came out just yesterday saying, and I quote, that little punk bitch Joel better steer clear, no one f***s with a Biden. That's not true. And no one has ever said that? Mr. President, you said that. Look, come on, man. I, I, I know you're trying to goad me. But I mean, I don't even know what that means. You're a lion dog faced pony soldier. You said you were, but you're, now you gotta be honest. I'm gonna be honest with you. That would be great, Mr. President. So, what are your feelings on Joel, the beloved main character from The Last of Us? If we were in high school, I'd take him behind the gym and beat the hell out of him. Glad we could clear that up. Let's take some calls. We've got Norman from Idaho. You're on WKRZ, the Platinum. I'm gonna be honest with you, Joe. I didn't vote for you. I didn't like what you said about my boy, Joel. Come on, man. Give me a little break here. You've got no culture. No culture. We're talking about one of the greatest games of all time. But that things I didn't like. What didn't you like about it? It was pretty dull. Dull? The game's a masterpiece, and the remake with its new trophies offers even more hours of enjoyment. Fewer, not more. No, not fewer. More. Fewer. More. Fewer. You're a joke, Joe. I'm never voting for you. Good riddance. Okay, pal. Thanks a lot. Well, that couldn't have gone any worse. Next up, we've got Adeline from Virginia. Hi, Adeline. Mr. President, we've actually met before. I don't know if you remember. Wow, Mr. President, is that true? We go back a long way. She was 12, I was 30, but anyway. Oh, for f sake. Oh, uh-oh, I'm in trouble. Adeline, ask your question quickly. So, the weed smoking scene in The Last of Us Part 2 generated some outrage, and I just wanted to ask, do you think it's bad for people to smoke weed? No, never, never, never. I know a lot of weed smokers. <laughs> a lot of great, great, great people. That's such a relief. You know, you're not so bad, Joe. Look, what people don't know about me is I love ice cream, always have. My favorite, by the way, is chocolate chip. Mine too. Great show, Maxwell. That's W-E-B-T-S, Maxwell, to you, you little bitch. President Biden, I think the bottom line here is we don't understand where this hatred of Joel is coming from. Single father, already lost one daughter, not wanting to lose another. Surely he can't be that bad. I'm gonna say something outrageous. I don't care if you think I'm Satan reincarnated. This guy has been incredibly Terrible. That's the truth. Since when have you felt this way about Joel? Just when I came to the United States Senate 120 years ago. And back in those days, you sure how things have changed. One of the things you had to use, if you used pomade in your hair, you had to wear a bathing cap. I have no idea what that even means, but sir, we're talking about Joel from The Last of Us. And here's what I want to tell you about Earl. Um, sir, his name is Joel. Earl was a bad dude, and he ran a bunch of bad boys. And so he was up on the board, wouldn't listen to me. I said, hey, Esther, you, off the board, or I'll come up and drag you off. Well, he came off, and he said, I'll meet you outside. He said, I'll be waiting for you. He was waiting for three guys in straight razors. Not a joke. There was a guy named Bill Wright, Mouse, the only white guy, and he did all the pools. He was the mechanic. And I said, what am I going to do? He said, come down here in the basement where mechanics, where, where, where all the pool filter is. And he cut off a six-foot length of chain. He folded up. He said, you walk out with that chain. And you walk to the car and say, you may cut me, man, but I'm going to wrap this chain around your head. I said, you kidding me? So I walked out with the chain and I walked up to my car and they had step. Those days you used to remember the straight race. You'd bang them on the curb, get them rusty, put them in a rain barrel, get them rusty. And I looked at him 
But I was smart then. I said, first of all, I said, when I tell you get off the board, you get off the board, and I'll kick you out again, but I shouldn't have called you, Esther Williams. I apologize for that. He said, you apologize to me? I said, I apologize for that, not for throwing you out, but I apologize for what I said. He said, okay, close the straight razor, and my heart began to beat again. It's like I'm talking to a cardboard cutout hooked up to a soundboard. Sir? I got hairy legs. What the fuck? Your dessert? Yeah, we fancy like Denny's on a date night. Yeah, the Burger tree steak with the Oreo shake, get some whipped cream on the top, two, two straws on a shacker. I got you a bougie like Natty on the side phone. Yay! 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 Y